What did you take away from last night? This uh, increases the level of uncertainty. Uncertainty is the stock market's worst nightmare, says U of M economist Tim Kehoe, who's at a conference in California this week with more than 8,000 of the nation's top economists. Is this something that people at the conference are talking about? This is a big uh, topic of conversation. He says many economists already had a bleak outlook for the markets in the new year with an ongoing trade war with China, and he says the situation with Iran will only hurt the markets even more. The direct effect on the U.S. economy is not going to uh, be so big. But we do depend on our trade with Europe, with uh, China, with Japan, and they are going to be hurt. So investors will be more leery about putting money into the markets. He says you probably won't see higher prices in stores or less jobs because of it, but your 401k and other investments might not do as well this year. You might also see higher gas prices. Maybe five, maybe ten cents a gallon on the extreme over the next one to two weeks. Gas Buddy's head petroleum analyst Patrick DeHaan says it all depends on how Iran reacts in the coming days. The U.S. hasn't relied on Iranian oil for years, but if the country decides to retain retaliate by attacking oil reserves in nearby countries, that could impact the prices even more. And that is where the uncertainty and the risk now comes into play. There's that word again, uncertainty, which is where we're at right now, leaving financial experts cautiously waiting to see what happens next. We should be nervous, we should be cautious, but there's no reason for panic yet. Gordon Severson, Carol 11 News. And we did some checking with Gas Buddy and found that Twin Cities gas prices haven't changed much since yesterday. The average for a gallon of gas is still 239. The national average remains 259. But as Gordon mentioned, those prices could change over the next few days.